de Viale Seva Phantom are true, there is many confusion on the internet. Some people say everything is a lie, but I don't think so. And we will prove it today. Here's everything what they claimed. They claim it to have a frequency response of 16 Hz to 25,000 Hz, 105 dB maximum volume output, 3000 watts and the best sound in the world. And this is what we are going to check out today. I will start with the first fact, 16 Hz to 25,000 Hz. So yeah, let's start. So now I place it like this. I'm holding my microphone like this with maybe half a meter distance to the phantom and we will just start with 60 Hz. So you can hear this strange noise coming from the tweeter. I don't know why it does this, maybe because of the Bluetooth connection or it is broken. Now let's try 50 without any problems. 40 also does 40 but I don't think that I feel anything yeah this is when it gets impressive this is my window which is yeah making some noises that's what I call <laughs> house shaking now let's try 25 Hertz yeah, it still does 25 hertz. This is really impressive. And just look at the bass drivers. I could watch them all day. But now it gets really difficult. Let's try 20. 20 is the lowest frequency which can be submitted to Bluetooth. But um, I don't hear anything. The drivers move, but I don't hear or feel anything. And now let's try 16. There's nothing, just driver movement. So I don't think that 16 Hertz is true. Over Wi-Fi, you can't test this. I don't, um, I'm not able of doing a measurement. Let's try maybe 10. The drivers still move, this is really funny. Maybe five or one. Okay, I don't want to damage it. Um, so 30 was the lowest frequency which we could achieve, maybe even 25, but it won't play the notes deeper than that. I am at half volume or maybe 70%. And DBID claims that it sounds like that up to 60%, I think. I don't know, I'm not sure but 50% should be enough for all the people and it reduces um, frequencies down to 25 Hertz which is really impressive for a speaker of this size other speakers of this size maybe do 30 or maybe 40 Hertz and this one does 25. The next claim is 105 decibels max volume output I already tried this when I was in Poland I already did a video about this it is called Phantom indoor and outdoor volume check or something like this but now I got a microphone prepared and we will see the decibel number and we can check out if it does 105 decibels hopefully my neighbors won't kill me but I will just do it So this was the loudness check. I hope the microphone didn't distort. Like I said, I had the gain turned down all the way. And these were the results. First I got 107 decibels, so even louder than Debiale claims. The second time I got 106 decibels. And the last time I took a screenshot 
and you could see that I got 104.6 decibels. One time I recorded it with my microphone, the Zoom IQ6, but this result was quite strange. It was like 98 decibels, so I took the microphone of my iPad, which should be okay, and I will take this as a reference and we can compare it to other speakers like the FIFA Helsinki or my system or something like this. So yeah, this um, claim is definitely proof. So it is true that the speaker can play 105 decibels at one meter um, distance. So yeah, this was quite impressive. No other speaker can do this. Um, except for the Teufel Boomster XL and the, um, I think it's called Bumpbox, but um, the Bumpbox is much bigger and the Boomster XL, yeah, doesn't sound as good on max volume like the Phantom. The Phantom did all of this without um, any compression or distortion, just like DVLA claims, so this is proof. The next claim by DVLA is that this speaker can produce 3000 watts. This is one of the most um, shocking features of this speaker and many people say how could they lie? This speaker can never produce 3000 watts, it is a lie, my system can only produce 200 watts. But they don't know anything about this, but let me explain this quickly to you. This is a class D amplifier or how they call it, analog digital hybrid. This is just a simple amplifier. They have the power of a class D amplifier and the preciseness of an analog amplifier. Um, in a class D amplifier, you can get in 5000 watts with, without a problem. Just look at the car amps. They also have 5000 watts in such a small package. So why should this speaker not deliver 3000 watts? And if the drivers need 3000 watts for a short moment when they play at extremely high volumes like 105 decibels and you don't want to hear any distortion, they need more watts. So 3000 watts is enough and this amplifier can produce 3000 watts for just some seconds because this is just a peak power and not a RMS power which is provided constantly. This is just provided for some seconds. So this speaker could never produce 3000 watts um, all the time. It just can produce this much power when the speaker really needs it. And the last claim they did um, is that this speaker has the best sound in the world. They just said it, I don't know, 100 times in their interviews and so on. They just said our speaker has the best sound in the world. This is just this is simply a lie. This is simply not right. There are speakers which cost $300,000 and at least they will outperform this Phantom. It is just impossible to get the best sound in this small speaker. It is, you can't do this, yeah? Just listen to the comparison which I did yesterday the, where I compared the Silver Phantom against my new system. This has two speakers, the Quadral Aurum Altan 8 and this little full amplifier where I have everything built in and yeah it simply outperformed the Phantom and it was maybe half the price. This one goes for around $1,300 while the Phantom goes for around $2,000. So yeah this is just um, not the best sound in the world and this isn't proof this is simply a lie. So this was my video. Um, I hope you liked it and I could clear up some of the confusions about the Phantom and now I don't want to read any comments anymore which say uh, it can't play 105 decibels. It can and I proved this in this video and you can see the numbers on my tablet. So yeah, this is not a lie. Some of the claims were a lie like um, it has the best sound in the world which, is, which it definitely does not have. Um, but yeah, some of them were also right like 105 decibels and 3000 watts and so on. So the Phantom still is a really good speaker. Compared to other ones like this system here, it can't really keep up, but it still is a great package for this size. Um, yeah, I hope you enjoyed this video. Maybe you leave a thumbs up if you liked it or even subscribe to my channel to don't miss out on any new videos. And see you next time and bye bye.
Ich will es nicht auf maximal stellen. Ich glaube, meine ganze Bude fliegt auseinander. Die Fenster springen raus und die Nachbarn kommen mit irgendwelchen Haken und wollen mich abmorden. Mein Phantom schmeißen sie gleich aus dem Fenster und mich hinterher. Machen wir das mal hier ran. Es ist hier wieder nichts frei. Ein Scheiß, ey. Was sind das Kabel?